I still look for them to try to get the ball inside to AD, and AD has to do a job of reading when he can go and when he can. Well, the Lakers, 35 lineups in 72 games. Second straight game with this lineup. He has missed his last 12 three-point attempts, which is hard to believe going back a couple of games. Davis, mid-range, like we were talking, in and out. But all of a sudden, they've fallen now to three below 500. They've lost two in a row and three out of their last four. Dan Carroll puts it in. Tough final minutes that AD had, committing the foul, missing a free throw, then uh, losing a man on defense at the end. Here's Carter Jr. He hits another three. Malik Beasley, boy, he's on a two-point tear. Look at their running. A lot of energy so far here for Orlando. Drive, kick, Van Carroll got it. Suggs is missing his second straight. Van Caro all the way to the basket, strong, and he'll get an and one. Now Van Caro here trying to complete the three-point play here. He's already got seven points, been perfect from the field, three for three. You know, one other injury of note, Jonathan Isaac. Fultz, boy, quick pass, good hands that time by Van Caro. He that does not close. draw iron. That was close to an offensive foul. Van Carroll's going to go around. Beasley blocked by A.D. He timed it perfectly. Now Vanderbilt it goes off a foot. Reeves picks it up and scores. Van Carroll tries to move around. Hachimura does. Reverse layup. No. But Tazi was there. Could not hold on to it. He would have had an easy putback. Boy, that newfound depth since the trade deadline certainly showing not only promise, but a little bit more than that. It's actually happening. That one's laid up and in out of the timeout and one, the one for Franz Wagner. Schroeder spinning. Oh, Anthony was waiting for that one. Anthony was waiting yeah. for that spin. So LeBron had a good game in Orlando. You know who else played well then? Russ. Russ had a triple-double. Did not play well yesterday, though, in the game against this team. Hands it now to D'Angelo. Behind his back he goes. Find Schroeder. Open. Whoa, nearly <laughs> banked it in. Hello. I don't think he called bank, but he would have accepted it. And the Clippers are at Portland tonight. A big game in the Western standings. Ben Carroll right at the elbow scores. Ben Carroll's having himself quite a first half. Anthony, rebound, brings it in the front court himself. So a little bit of a, a run here for Orlando. It's 47-38. Van Carroll wanted some contact and a whistle. Lakers fourth turnover. Anthony to the wide open Van Carroll. Lakers currently out of the play-in, sitting in 11th. Troy Brown Jr. had a hot start to this game. He hit his first three out of four from downtown. That's his second miss, has nine points. Lakers have two in double figures, and it's Bancaro who will get a free throw, so it's all about the Orlando Magic here in the middle of the second quarter. Bancaro can make it a three-point play and does, and all of a sudden that lead of 16 down to four. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 247 on the game. Austin! Did that, that touch the glass? That's what the Lakers are saying. Count this thing. I, I think that touched the glass. Thing. The referees will confer. I think it touched Count the glass. Count it. Yeah. Get that call. He knows when the contact is there to make sure that the referee is. He's four out of six from the field. All of them from three-point land. Carter Jr., it's all about the three-point show here to start the second half. If they didn't have that just abysmal start, Although they have lost five out of seven, but they won yesterday here. Trying to sweep L.A. as Ben Carroll goes and lays it off the window. Missed the first meeting, though. You might recall he was out with that foot injury. And he was out 20 straight games. Look for some help. Find Wagner. They'll orchestrate with 10. On the clock, get into their action. Ben Carroll straight away. He is not a good three-point. But also the Wizards and the Pacers between them and 10. And only 10 games remaining. Van Caro, no basket there. It's that offensive foul. Uh, didn't you think he might have been yeah. called for one earlier yeah. in the night? <laughs> At least he made the, the adjustment. Middle. Somewhere in the middle. First there, one Franz. was short, so I said, let me shoot a little harder. Just keep going. This next one might go down. <laughs> now it's going to be Fultz. Up and down we go. Wild action here. Van Caro out of control. Ooh, late whistle. In the pocket of each of the head coaches. 
Now Orlando has struggled on the second day of back-to-backs this year. They're just one and ten. Carter Jr. career high this year in scoring. Dan Carroll very aggressive. Lost control of it, so the Lakers have numbers. Lakers slow to get into their action. Nine now. <laughs> Schroeder. He thought a whistle was going to be called. Looked at the referee. Everybody froze. And now Reeves scores. And one. 15 points. But a chance for Orlando to crawl ever closer. As we're getting closer to crunch time. Dan Carroll misses. Look. He averages almost five rebounds a game. Turnover. Yeah, they got numbers. Three on two. Paolo Banquero runs right into a man. Fultz flies out of the backcourt. Fultz is thinking about one thing. The rim. Blocked by Davis. Missed once. Tapped twice. Taken by Orlando. John Wagner into the attacking 47 feet. Paolo Banquero pull up just outside of the free throw line. And we have a one-point game. Is really an issue. With four, Reeves are not buying. Now Reeves is going to have to fire it up. No, short. Oh, they fouled him. Are you kidding me? They are up four with the ball. Less than 20 seconds left. Let's see if they can play mistake-free basketball here. Make smart decisions. Van Carroll misses. Taken by Davis. 19 and 17 at home. Inbound, stolen. Lakers game over. Final score, 111-105, and there's your star tonight, Austin Reeves.